welcome to a cup of coffee and kill yourself. <sighs> well, don't kill yourself. 2021 is soon to be dead and buried. Uh, 2021 for me has been one of the best and worst years of my life. Heartache, depression, suicidal thoughts, and just the good old general self-hatred. But it's also been a very good year, artistic-wise. A lot of paintings, a lot of comics, and a lot of inspiration. So, please don't kill yourself. Why? Because we're going to die anyway. So why rush? Um, I find comfort in knowing that one day I'll be dead. And the few times in my life when I thought I was going to die, when it wasn't in my hands, in my control, uh, I was more stressed than I was afraid because there's so much shit that I want to do before I die which brings me to the reason why I'm still alive art it sounds very pretentious but it's true um, I want to be remembered for what I did in art and I have so much more to accomplish so many more paintings to do so much more exposure and fame to achieve. Again, it sounds very cliche, cold and almost a little bit sad. But in order to be remembered, you have to achieve some sort of fame or success. In my opinion, I already have the success that I always wanted. I can pay my bills get food, and even buy books and records, which are my main addictions, by creating art. So, if I died today, it would suck though, because there's so much more I would like to make before I die, but then again, I would be quite satisfied with my life. And this year it's felt uh, a lot of times that I was by the finish line. That's how life has been feeling the last year or two that it's already over I've already done everything but I haven't though but it, it feels like it sometimes very lonely sometimes because uh, I don't like people that much I prefer a selective group of people my closest friends family and lover so uh, but I like meeting people though don't get me wrong, especially if you're talking about me and my art, then I definitely like meeting new people. So, all in all, New Year's Eve, I don't really care that much about it, to be honest. I hate it because a lot of people make a lot of new promises that will be broken before the first month is over. And they keep telling themselves that this year I'm going to be better at this this year I'm gonna be better at that but what you should do is get your fucking head out of your ass and start today don't wait one full year before you start planning on making changes in your life so my advice to you is do whatever the fuck you want that makes you happy because we're gonna die so I hope my little dark soul can give some inspiration to you guys out there and girls and ghouls and fiends uh, like I get my shit out by making these extremely dark comics um, just go to my Instagram and see my free daily coffin comics that I make where I really try to tell it how it is to be inside his head um, try to be as honest as I can but I'm still working on it I still have more to say 
and even more depressing and dark shit to say, but one darkness at a time. So I hope uh, you guys uh, have had a miserable but great year. Um, hope you like the shit that I make, and hopefully in the future, exhibitions of paintings and my comics will be more available if we don't have the plague to stop it. And thanks for watching, it's cool that you guys check out the videos and I always do a live stream on Fridays at Curse Clock, that's 13100. And a special thanks to uh, everybody who supported me by buying my comics and artwork and prints etc. at CafeFancy.com, link always um, below and um, just go to the independent shops that actually sells my kinky, perverted, dark comics such as Ken Chilling and now the Meat Man is coming out with his first official issue and it's gonna be titled The Meat Man Magical Mystery Tour featuring Ken Chilling, Ken the Chicken, uh, Bob the Bat and of course your host with the worst, me. Okay, I'm gonna stop whoring myself now. Hope you guys enjoy this extremely dark video, like literally dark, because it's really dark in here. Reminds me of the good old swingers club that I really hope will be opening soon. I miss those attempt rituals. Oh, the smell of semen, the smell of semen. Well, I don't mean to paint uh, such a picture, but if there's one thing I'm really good at, and which has made me survive the most depressing and sad and suicidal moments of my life is the ability to laugh at shit that sucks. Stuff that makes me sad and depressed and suicidal and basically break down in tears on the floor and wishing and wanting really bad to die. Even so bad that sometimes I stand with a chain around my neck on a wiggly chair, naked, in the middle of the night, crying alone in my junky looking apartment. Yes, that has happened and it will be featured in uh, uh, Ken the Chilling Volume 7, Cell Mode, which is suicide. Not gonna kill myself, just to be clear. So this video, cup of coffee and kill yourself. Well, don't kill yourself. Too many assholes out there. We need some good ones like you watching this video because if you're watching my shit definitely one of the good guys hopefully anyway i'm gonna do what i do best and that is painted black so here's to you guys cheer and uh, i will see you next year because Next year is the next time you watch one of my videos uh, and we are hopefully going to all be alive for the next video because, uh, yeah, we try our best and we fail and then we try again. So I'm going to give you all a kiss before I go, a kiss of darkness as we all dramatically say. So. Thanks for watching my YouTube videos and every Friday they're out. So a kiss to you. And goodbye.